Good morning and welcome to WSRH News, your leading source for news at Seminole Ridge High. I'm Caleb Goss. And I'm Kate Norton. Today is Thursday, February 15th. We've got a lot to tell you about this morning, but first, today's top story. Do you got Riz? Well, today is the test to see who is the ultimate Rizzler in the school. WSRH News reporter Alexia Ordonez is going to find out who is rizzing up the school the most. I'm here with Ali Santos to talk about a Riz contest. So, Ali, what... How does this contest work? So basically, um, most people were given a necklace when they walked in through the front gates this morning. And if they were given a necklace, you can basically risk people up or use pickup lines and try and take their necklace. So if you like their pickup line, then they have to give you the necklace. Can anyone join this contest? Anyone can join it. Even if you didn't receive a necklace, you can still participate. Um, you can just try and collect other people's necklaces. When is this contest? So during A and B lunch today, we're going to have the final like Riz off where people with the most beads will have like a Riz contest over the microphone and um, the winner will be announced. How do we find out who are the top winners of this contest? So we're going to be posting it on the uh, Seminole Ridge SJ Instagram account so you can see the final winners there. And that's it. I'm here with WS Arch News, Alexia O'Donnell. Hawks, reminder that the pep rally is tomorrow. You will know whether or not you go into the pep rally in your first period class. WSRH News reporter Tyler Ortega has more information. I'm here with Mr. Crimmins who can tell us more about the pep rally coming tomorrow. So Mr. Crimmins, what's the schedule for tomorrow? Tomorrow is going to be a block day, specifically an odd day. There's not really going to be any changes for it, like period one will still end at 9.15, period three will still end, I believe, 11.14. It'll still be the same times, but it's just going to be a block day. Okay, what colors are you going to wear tomorrow? Tomorrow you can wear any assortment of colors, whether it's red, pink, white, a combination of all three. We welcome any of those colors. We want to see like the stands lit up with the colors. Okay, what grade, what's the order the grades are showing up? Good question. So for the first pep rally, it's going to take place during first hour. That's going to be for freshmen and sophomores specifically. And then the second pep rally, which will be during third hour, is going to be juniors and seniors. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to tell us? I would say for the pep rally, just bring like your school spirit. We got loads of games. Make sure like you're really trying to push yourself out there because we are also going to pull random people from the audience for an assortment of things, um, whether it be karaoke or any other surprise things we got in store. Okay, that's it for WSRH News. I'm Tyler Ortega. It's been nearly four years of hard work to get to the top of the class of 2024. And this week, the top 10 seniors have been announced. WSRH News reporter Sienna Collado has the story. I'm here with Ms. West in the cafeteria where we just announced the top 10 seniors of the class of 2024. So Ms. West, who is in the top 10? Okay, so there's actually 10 students in the top 10 that we just got to surprise, so we're really excited about that. Fun fact about our senior class is of the top 10 students, five are actually early admission students. So they don't even take their classes on campus, they're full time at Palm Beach State College. So we're just really excited about that. Awesome. So how does being in the top 10 benefit these students? So when you're in the top 10 of the uh, per, top 10 students of the class, it means that, like you're in the top 5% of the class obviously. It's based on your class rank. So your rank is determined by the classes that you take, the grades that you earn in those classes. And then there's a special recognition for the students that are number one and number two in the class based on their GPA. And that position is called the valedictorian for the first person and the salutatorian for the second person. So this year, our valedictorian is Kyla Cartwright and our salutatorian is Caitlin Tripican. All right, thank you so much. Congratulations to all the seniors who are in the top 10. For WSRH News, I'm Sino Cuyado. The Lip Mag winners have been announced, but let's go, let's go WSRH News reporter Matthew Mearswell with the story. I'm here with Mr. Lane to talk about the Lip Mag contest. So, who won? Um, so we actually ran four different contests, so we announced four different winners this week. Um, so for our art contests, for our comic strip, we had um, Alex Carreras, who won for his piece called Snack Time. And then we also had a Hidden in Plain Sight contest, and it was Chelsea Al Al Alvarado who won for that, uh, for her piece called Super Mall. In the writing category, we ran two contests. So we had a struggle for survival contest, which was won by uh, Saleh Heller for her piece uh, again. And then we also had a historical fiction contest that was won by um, Noella Gutierrez Ramirez for her piece, Renaissance. What did they win? Um, so all of our first place winners, they um, get guaranteed 
Teed publication in the Lit Mag, a certificate, and then $20 in Amazon gift cards. I've given out most of them, but there's still a couple of winners who I need to track you down. If you want to claim your prize, you can come see me in room 7118. And can you still submit stuff? Um, yeah, we're going to have one more round of contests. We're actually going to be announcing a little later this week. Um, but students are always welcome to submit any of their art and writing to our Google Classroom submission page using the code. Um, and they can also see our winning submissions on that page as well. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. For WHH News, I'm Matt Kinnearswell. Congratulations to this week's Hawks of the Week. Ninth grade, Scott Conaway III, nominated by Ms. McCallum. Tenth grade, Zian Ling, nominated by Ms. Aguilar. Eleventh grade, Riley Hobegger, nominated by Ms. M. Pelfrey. And twelfth grade, Aisha Khan, nominated by Mr. Crimmins. Good job, Hawks. Students were nominated based on academic excellence, academic improvement, or for their efforts on making our campus better by doing things like helping others, volunteering their time, or even simply picking up trash. Coming up on WSRH News, weather and birthdays. Plus sports. One billion animals are killed each year, and every 10 seconds an animal is abused. All because of humans. They're killed in excruciating ways, such as getting crushed, suffocated, and skinned, or burned alive. Dot org or text P to 73822 to begin petitioning today. Is your name Wi-Fi? No. Why? Because I feel a strong connection between us. Let's go to WSH meteorologist Jason Wayne with today's forecast. Good morning, Hawks. In today's forecast, we have a high 77 and a low 56 with partly cloudy skies. On three we forecast, on Friday, we have a high 80 and a low 57 with cloudy skies. On Saturday, we have a high 81 and a low 61 with rainy skies. On Sunday, we have a high 68 and a low 60 with rainy skies. That's it for WR Stretch Weather. I'm Jason Wayne. We have a happy birthday going out to Natalia Gordon, Brent Hall, Brielle Westra, and Isaiah Arafa. Happy birthday, Hawks. WSRH sports anchor Tyler Bailey, who joins us now at the sports desk. Good morning, Hawks. We have a lot of sports to cover today, so let's get right into it. Our varsity boys lacrosse team had a home game yesterday against Wellington. Unfortunately, our Hawks lost 0 to 13. Our varsity girls lacrosse team also had a home game yesterday. After a hard fought battle, our Hawks ended up losing 3 to 9. Our girls varsity basketball team had a regional tournament yes, against Blanque Ellie yesterday. Uh, WSRH sports reporter Jose Guerra has the results. Today I'm here with Jalen Midget for the girls basketball regionals results. So, what are the results of last night? Um, well, we lost, but it was okay because they were kind of a better team, so we tried our best. How did you do last night? Uh, I think I did, I did all right. And who was the top performer? Um, I don't think there really was a top performer. I think we just worked together as a team. How proud, how proud of you are, how proud of the team are you this season? Uh, I'm very proud of what we've accomplished. And how many seniors will be leaving this year? Uh, only one. Okay. That's it for WSRH News. I'm Jose Guerra. Go Hawks! Yesterday, our wrestling team competed in their district championships at Forest Hill. WSRA sports reporter Natalia Cruz has more on the results. Good morning. I'm here with Coach Chifalo, and he just had a wrestling competition. Did any of the kids from our team win? Uh, yeah, we had our district championships last night at Forest Hill High School. Uh, we took nine wrestlers. Uh, out of 14, we were missing a few weight classes, and um, out of the nine, seven were able to qualify for next week's regional championships, which are right here at Seminole Ridge. And did we have any? Did we have any regional qualifiers? Yeah, absolutely. The seven kids uh, that I just mentioned that took top four. 
Um, all qualify for regions, so the top four district go to regions, then the top four at next week's tournament will go to states, and then, of course, you'll decide your uh, state championships there. But, um, no, the seven kids were uh, – we had Sergio Torres took uh, second place at the 113-pound weight class in his first year wrestling as a freshman. Uh, Austin Tufts took second place in the 120-pound weight class in his first year wrestling as a sophomore. Um, uh, Ryan Dun uh, Braden, I'm sorry, Braden Dunlop took for, uh, second, no, I'm sorry, third in 106 pounds. Sorry, there's a lot of numbers here. 106-pound weight class in the first year wrestling. Uh, we had Andre Robinson take fourth at 157. Uh, first year wrestler James Melvin took fourth at 190. Uh, and then, of course, we had Troy Daher, uh, sophomore, take first. He's district champ at 165 in his second year. And uh, Joel Leon took first at uh, heavyweight in his third year. So we had a lot of inexperienced guys going and a lot of uh, hardware coming back. So we had a great weekend. And do you know when your comp next competition is? Yep, it's going to be right here next week. Uh, we're hosting the regional championships next Friday and Saturday. Uh, it's all day, both days in the gymnasium. Obviously, it'll be school going on during the first day, but uh, if you're available after school Friday or you want to come out Saturday and watch some wrestling and cheer on the guys, uh, we would love to see you there. Okay, thank you so much for your time. I'm Natalia Cruz with WSRH News. Our varsity tennis team had a game today against Royal Palm. WSRA sports reporter Cole Single has more in this game. I'm here with Cooper Stanley about today's boys and girls tennis match. So, who and where are you guys playing against? We're playing against Royal Palm High School. How do you think you guys will perform? On a personal level, I'm not sure I'm going to do the best because I just started. But as a team, I think we're going to do pretty well. Who are your top performers? Our number one seed is Niall, so he'll be our top performer. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. For WSH News, I'm Cole Singer. Taking a look at today's sports calendar, our tennis team has a varsity game against Royal Palm at Royal Palm at 4. Good luck, Hawks. Well, that's it for WSRH Sports. I'm Tyler Berryhill. Well, that's it for WSRH News. I'm Caden Orton. And I'm Caleb Goss. Remember that you can follow us on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Seminole Ridge TV. Have, Have a great day, day Hawks. Hawks.